Are we on? Yes, we are on. Yes. This is Rebecca Vargas reporting live, and I'm on the scene with Drew, and he's actually washing this beautiful Harley. See that, folks? Look how pretty that is. First, before we get to the Harley, I do want you to look at Drew. He's wearing a chicken hat. <laughs> I had said that I wanted to walk a chicken on the beach, and he said he didn't have a beach. He does have water, as you can tell. Beautiful bike. Absolutely fabulous. I know, and it's wonderful. It's so funny. You seem completely comfortable, Drew. I like the chicken legs. Well, you can have the chicken hat. You want it back? All right. That is a beautiful Harley Davidson. Oh my God! Look at the green. That is still kicking. Yeah, it changes color. It goes green and then brown and and like black. Does it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the Capricorn's pride and joy. One of them. One of his toys. Awesome. It's very. Hi. What are you doing, darling? How can you be bored? I would like for y'all to take in all how beautiful it is here. Look at these flowers. This is Drew's land. All this beautiful land, okay? I think his son is coming from somewhere. Okay. Oh, the backyard is more, it's way getting it. This is where the family does their thing. Over here in the garden, we have Naples. That's what I've named him. Naples, the garden gnome. Look at all this stuff was not as grown as it is now. It's grown, grown, grown. And you got to see these flowers. Drew's car. Drew's truck. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, God. Can you smell it? Smell. Oh. Mm. The cattle lilies are in bloom again. Valley they are. I love this car. It's beautiful. This one looked pretty good driving down the road, too. You know? I just watched him pull in in his Beamer, and that looked pretty good. Okay. I hear Ryan on the horizon. Here he comes. Yes. Hey! What? This is Rebecca Vargas reporting live with Ryan on the scene. Ryan, would you like to say anything? Say hello. Hi. Hi. Ryan's riding his four wheeler right now. It ain't so good, it's like burning my legs. It's burning your legs? Yeah, I don't have a tan on my legs. I wear jeans on the damn They have spray tan, you can get that done if you want to, but you look great. And this is his toy. All the boys here have a lot of toys. Got a toy and be dirt bike. I'm sure that'll be coming to a theater near you, darling. <laughs> he does all kinds of stuff. Let's go back over here to the Harley, because, uh, you know, I love it. It's beautiful. And Drew is obsessing like the Capricorn that he is on every detail of it, because I have found that all bikers that I've ever known, dated, or even been friends with, all the above, um, they always clean their Harley before they take it anywhere. Is that true, Drew? I think so. I, I, and I don't think it's, uh, I think it just becomes natural. I don't know. It, does it have anything to do with the, the fact that, of course, you want people to look at this beautiful piece of machinery? It's, it's a lot to do with being a mechanic and it being a machine. For you, that's yeah. your personal reason. Hmm. I don't want to drive a, you know, I don't, I don't want to drive like a $20,000 bike that, dirt on them. It's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, you're right. I can't deal with perfection, but just shine. So, I think you can clean a bike a hundred million times and not get every little speck. 
Yeah, it's true. And one thing, too, that's driving me to do all the wiping and not leave any drops of water on it, is this water's got a lot of, uh, I don't know if it's called calcium or sodium, sodium bicarbonate or some kind of hard water spots that you can't even get out once they harden on there. You need chrome polish to get the water spots out. So if you dry it before it becomes a water spot, it don't happen. I understand. Do you think you and I are friends? Is it a good friendship? Yeah, well, it's uh, better than good. Oh, it is? Yeah. Is that your opinion, Drew, really? Well, it's friendship and, and uh, you recorded me. It's intimacy, too. It's intimacy. Like, like, more than friendship, like friendship with love and love. At least I feel. Don't friends have love anyway? Relationships. People say, oh, I love you unconditionally. Would you love someone if they killed your child or, you know, did something terrible? Of course not. So everyone's love has conditions. So if you don't know what he's talking about when he says that, that's what he's talking about. Like, would I stay with someone who cheated on me? Absolutely not. Because my love is conditional. I'm too special, as is everyone else, to tolerate that. So that's why he said that. So if you don't understand now, I just broke it down for you. Isn't that right, Drew? Yeah. Those are extreme conditions. No brainer conditions. Well, yeah, but some people have to get on a yellow brick road to get a brain down. That just happens. <laughs> I'd like to focus on these beautiful purple flowers or pink. I don't know. I'm kind of colorblind, but I'm assuming this is purple. Beautiful. All right. There goes Ron again. This is Rebecca Vargas reporting live in the country. I'll get back with y'all. There's a plane in the sky right there. It's beautiful. That's for you. Love it. All right then.